that's on everybody's lips at the moment is what your views are about uh, Quentin Tarantino's <laughs> depiction of your dad. Just sum it up for us. What's the problem with it? You know, first of all, I think I think he was very um, irresponsible. I think that he he created um, a view of him that was a caricature in his sort of response to some of the criticism from myself and from others that I've heard. Um, you know, he wants to say, oh, it was a fact, this is what he was like, and yet, but this is a fiction movie. So in my opinion, a lot of times uh, people have, who had met him at certain times, depending who they were and where they were in their, uh, you know, in, in terms of their dealings with him, really mistook his confidence, which he had mm -hmm. in spades, as arrogance, and in particular, if they were, you know, white men in Hollywood or in the martial arts or something like that, right, um, so, there was so he's, a so bit he's, of a, yeah. So his confidence, and by God, he had the right to be confident with, you know, a, phys <laughs> a physique and a fight technique like that. His confidence, you're saying, yeah. has been misinterpreted post by Tarantino as arrogance and being, as we say in this country, up himself. And you're saying that's just not true. He, he wasn't like that. The other thing, which, which I find ridiculous, is there is this fight scene with Brad Pitt in the mm. film. And Brad, of course, is mm -hmm. a kind of an ageing stuntman. And it's kind of mm. left open. There are two rounds, and they, they win one each. And then it's left open to see... And you're meant to sort of guess who would eventually win the fight. Now, I thought that was right. ridiculous, because Bruce Lee was unbeatable. I mean, he, was, he would have taken <laughs> someone like Brad Pitt to the cleaners in about three seconds. And I, for, for me, I thought that was the most unbelievable... It's a great film, but I thought that was the most unbelievable mm. section, that Bruce Lee would get a kicking from, from a 50-year-old bloke. It just wouldn't happen, would it? No, I don't, I don't think it would happen, no. Uh, and, and not at all. And, um, you know, I understand what he was trying to do around the character of Cliff Booth in the film, but, you know, he could have handled it in a way that was respectful of my father as mm. well as you know, served his story purposes. We used to watch, when I, when I was 17 and 18, I used to go with my mates to watch your dad's films. And we used to leave and wonder how he'd done what we'd just seen him do. Now, we knew, obviously, there was clever editing, obviously, <laughs> and there was filming from certain angles. Mm. But nevertheless, he had extraordinary skill in, in, in the fight sequences. Yes. You've obviously seen his films again and again and again. What do you make of him? You know, my father, one of the things that people miss about my father is that he worked extremely hard. I mean, he trained for hours and hours on end every day. Well, do you think, in a way, that he is bigger? In a way, his icon yeah. status is bigger than just this one film and Quentin Tarantino? Or do you think it actually has done damage or will do damage? Well, I think it's I think it's a little bit of both. I, his philosophy and the way he lived his life has inspired me to live yeah. my life in a better way. And, and so that's the message I'm always trying to get out to everybody. And just finally, you know, you mentioned just briefly there that you felt in life as a as an Asian lead, you know, for example, he was you couldn't make Warrior because he was told we can't have an Asian lead in a film actually. That this yeah. what's happening now sort of mocking him. Do you feel that that's a sort of repeat of belittling him because in a way, he's not here to answer back, but also uh, not racism, but a little bit of, you know, the white man knowing better is what you kind of alluded to. Yes, absolutely. Um, I think that the portrayal of him in Quentin Tarantino's film is uh, him being treated the way he was treated by Hollywood um, back in the time when he was trying to uh, make accurate representations of Asian men in film. And he was not treated uh, respectfully or, you know, I think the way that he's portrayed by uh, Tarantino in the film is, is exactly in that way, sort of belittling him. OK, Shannon, one last question from me. Are you any mm -hmm. good in a fight? <laughs> in fact, I was training this morning, so <laughs> I'll leave it up to you to let me know. <laughs> Ser seriously, can you... Seriously, have you got the moves? Can, can you do a bit of the, the kung fu? Uh, yes, I trained for many years. I trained in my father's art of Jeet Kune Do, and I also trained in uh, kickboxing. I did a little bit of Taekwondo. Oh. I've done some Wushu. I've done some Krav Maga, so... I've, All right. I've been well, around let's the block. Quentin Tarantino doesn't meet you in a dark alley, though. Well, I was going to say. So, OK, let's... Can I just give you a quick scenario? A bit over time, but I want to yes. do this. You're walking down Hollywood Boulevard. It's four in the afternoon. You've got your purse over your shoulder and your mobile phone in your left hand, and a mugger comes up, grabs your purse and grabs your phone. What moves would you use on him? <laughs> 
I think it depends on the situation, uh, but uh, they're all different sorts of things. In fact, we were practicing some self-defense self this morning. We were talking about uh, jabbing people in the eye and how that's a really effective oh, move. Oh. Okay. My son will love that. He's only seven. <laughs> right. Okay. Lovely. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you so much for joining us Thank this you. morning and uh, giving us your views on the film. And I loved your and dad. Warrior. I loved your yeah. dad. He was brilliant.